Welcome to our video, how to find the future value. In this video, we're gonna learn the formula, how to find the future value manually and with the calculator. Let's start. Here we have the formula for the future value. As you can see here, PV means the present value, I means the interest rate, and T is gonna be the time. Let's do some problems. But before that, let's talk about the compound periods. When you have compound interest, it's very important you understand this. When it's annually, that means that the, the interest is being compound once. When it's semi-annually, the interest is being compound twice. Monthly, 12. Quarterly, 4. Weekly, 52. And daily, 360. This is going to be used in a little bit. But for right now, let's just start with some examples. Also, the more you compound, the higher your future value. Let's start. So let's say that we have a problem like this. Find the future value of $1,000 in four years with a rate of 12% compound annually. How do we do it? Manually, I just go ahead and follow the formula. The present value is 1000 the interest is 0.12. Remember, when we use this in the calculator, we need to do the 12 divided by 100, and that gives me 0.12. T is equals to 4 because we have here 4 years. Now, I just plug it in. Then, I elevate. First of all, you have to do 1 plus 0.12. Then you do the elevation, and finally, you multiply it by 1,000. You should get this answer, 1,573.52. This is just, you know, an approximation. How do I do with a calculator? Let's say that you have a financial calculator. One of the most common ones is the HP 10B2. Uh, you can use another one, and usually it's the same procedure. N is gonna be four, I is gonna be 12. The calculator understands that 12 means 12%, so you don't have to put 0.12. PV, you have to put negative 1,000. The reason why you have to do it like this is because the calculator will give you an error if you don't put the present value with a negative number. So every time you use a calculator and you want to plug the present value, you have to put a negative in the front. The payment is going to be zero because we're not making any payments. And finally, the future value should give you 1,573 with 52. Let's do more examples. Let's say that now they give me the same problem, but now the rate is gonna be compound semi-annually. Well, remember, at the beginning of the lesson, I say, I say that when it's semi-annually, the interest is being compound twice a year. That means that M is gonna be equal to two. Anytime you have something compound semi-annually, the present value is gonna be the same, However, the interest, you have to divide it by two. That's gonna give me 0 0.06. Also, the time, you have to multiply it by two, because now you don't have four years, or let's say you don't have four periods. Now you're gonna have eight periods. Therefore, future value is gonna be 1,000 times one plus 0 0.06, elevated to the 8. Remember, you always do the parenthesis, the exponent, and then you multiply. Finally, your answer is going to be 1,593 with 85. In the calculator, you do the same. But remember, now n is not 4, it's 8. That comes from 4 times 2. The rate is not 12. Now it's going to be 6, 12 divided by 2. Present value does not change. Payment is 0. And your future value is going to be 1,593 with 85. Let's do another example. Now we have a quarterly. Well, here, what's going to happen is that my M is going to be equal to 4. That means that a year you're going to have 4 periods. Therefore, my present value, 1,000. But my interest, I have to divide it by 4. So this is actually the amount you're going to be using. And then your time, instead of your four periods, there's gonna be 16 periods. Actually, this is a mistake. There should be a 16 right here. So now in my calculator, I'm sorry, in my calculator, no, in my formula, I can put one plus 0 0.03, all that elevated to the 16 times 1,000. 
and that gives me 1,604 with 71 cents. As you can see here, the more you compound, the higher your future value is going to be. So that's awesome. If you ever have to make a deposit in your bank, the more you compound, the more money you're going to get at the end. Finally, in the calculator, I do N equals 16. Remember that comes um, with 4 times 4. I equals 3. That comes by 12 divided by 4. PV is the same. Payment is 0 because we're not making any payment. And finally, your future value is going to be 1,604.71. To find the future value is very easy. You just need to remember that when you compound it by different periods, quarterly, it's going to be 4. Semi-annually, N is going to be equals to 2. Monthly, 12. And then, you know, depending on whatever you have, just put it in the calculator. And I promise you, this is very, very easy. Now, let's do it by monthly. What happens? Now, M is going to be equal to 12. Again, my rate, I have to divide it by 12. My T... I don't have four periods, now I have 48 periods. Therefore, working this out again, I give them a future value 1,612 with 23. You can see here that the highest future value is the one when I compound monthly. Calculator, I'm going to do the same, n equals 48, i equals 1, because remember that's 12 divided by 12, which is 1, pv, payment, and finally, future value is 1,612 with 23. I hope you learn a lot. And again, thanks so much for